Nancy from Nancy B Designs and today we're going to be working on another book. I haven't done one for a little while so I thought I would do something uh, a little different from my previous one. If you look at my first video I made called Bookmaking 101, I teach you how to choose a book, what to look for, so I'm not going to go over that. And I've also already painted this black so you don't have to see that boring step. The next step will be to add a little texture, so let's get started. I already have a tiny bit of Dixie Belle Gravel Road paint. I had a little bit left over in this container, so I mixed salt wash, which is an additive that adds texture to your paint. It won't change the color. I also have a video on that if you wanna look for it. And we're just gonna add a little bit to the edges to give this book some texture so we can sand it back and see the color beneath it. I'm going to apply it with a brush. And if you can see, it is pretty thick. I like to make my salt wash mix thick so it stands up. And I'm just going to put it on the corners and around the edges and then we'll let it dry. Okay, we're gonna let that dry and then we'll come back and we're going to decoupage this beautiful peacock rice paper. It's from Decoupage Queen and it's called Peacock Majesty. And what we first have to do is paint with a light color paint and then we'll decoupage the paper so you can see all the beautiful details in the paper. There's beautiful printing. There's just layers and layers of, of um, beautiful flowers, etching, printing. So painting a lighter color will help that pop. The book is dry and I'm going to paint with Waverly Cashew, which is a chalk paint. And it's already shaken. What I like to do when I'm painting it is just go lightly over the edges so that the black paint underneath shows through. I'm just gonna finish painting this, let it dry, and I'll be back again. This is the A4 size, so it's about eight and a half by 11. And it doesn't fit properly, so what I'm going to do is take a little bit of water and a brush and I'm gonna first take off the white edge just by wetting it, and then you can scrape it off. The reason you do this is because you don't want just a plain straight edge. Now, I want to get the whole peacock on there, and I'm going to be putting a border over here. All right, so today I'm using Collage Page as my medium for glue. And I just put it on and with my brush, I smooth it out. Just push it down, just press it to get any bubbles out, any air out. And then just go right over top with a little bit more glue. and then I'll do the bottom part. And we'll let that dry and then sand off the edges. Once the glue dries, we can sand off the edges. I'm using a little sandpaper here. It's, it's uh, 120 grit. Okay, that comes right off. And we have put some texture underneath here, which you can feel there's small bumps under here. So I'm just going to sand lightly over this to give it a worn, distressed look. 
So I'm just going all the way around and sanding off some of these edges. Next, I'm going to add a mold to the spine. And I decided to use this one here, the flower and the leaves. I like to use Sculpey Air Dry Clay. There's lots of other brands. This is just one that I found that I like. And I just put a little brush, little dusting of cornstarch. It keeps the clay from sticking. And I just turn it upside down and it falls right off. I'm gonna put that there. I use tight bond, quick and thick. And I'll leave that to dry in this upright position. I decided this cream color was a little too boring for this book. It needs to be uh, a lot brighter in color because of this gorgeous color in the peacock. So I have a Dixie Belle paint called Peacock and I'm going to paint the spine and the back to give it a little more color. And then I'll do, uh, I'll lighten it up later. So I'm just going to bring it up to the edge here. Overlap it a little bit onto the rice paper. When it dries, I'll see if it needs two coats, but this might be enough since I'm going to go over it with a little bit of cream. My next step was to make a embellishment from this mold and uh, I just did the usual. I put the clay in here and out it comes and I'm going to attach it right here and then after it dries I can paint it. Just use my tight bond I'm also going to add these little pieces to the corners and for that I use heavy body gel which is just a, a mixed media product and it's a glue. And then after this dries I'll add gold wax to it. Another one for this corner. And we'll leave that to dry. I have these metallic pens and it, there's a gold one in there. I think I got these from Amazon. Uh, just great colors that you can add to your rice paper to uh, make them pop a little bit in, in areas. So I'm gonna use the gold and just go around some of these feathers and it just makes it pop a little bit more. It's just one of those little touches that you don't even notice really, but, but it's there and you don't think you're seeing it, but it, it adds a little something extra. Okay, I think that's good. Now, I'm doing something a little different this time. This is a first. I'm gonna add this trim. I bought this at Hobby Lobby. And uh, it's just fabric trim. And I'm gonna secure it with E6000. 
I taped the ends because it frayed a little bit. And I want to pull it tight and then glue it underneath the book cover. So I think what I'll do is put the glue on here So we'll spread this out. Okay. So I'm just going to lay this on here, stretch it out, and push it down. All right, so if I just tuck these under at the same time, fold this top down, it should stay. I'm just going to press this down and leave it to dry. That glue dried really well. This is not going anywhere for sure. And I put a little bit of glue on the inside to hold those little flaps down. I also uh, painted the key mold off camera. You didn't need to see that. Nothing special. What I'm going to do is add a little bit of this slightly off-white chalk paint to where I've painted Peacock and that way it'll give it a little dimension so it's not just one flat color. You always want to add layers and layers to make things look interesting. So basically this is just a dry brush method. You don't want much paint on your brush at all. You're just going to go lightly. You can always add more. See a lot of the peacock showing through, but it's just toning it down a little bit. And I'm just going to do the same thing to the back. So here I'm making it a little bit lighter on the edges, leaving it a little more peacock blue in the middle, and just going lightly over it, and I'm going to do a stencil in the middle. So this will just highlight it a little bit. I'm going to do a coat of uh, varnish on this. I'm going to use the Dixie Belle Clear Coat Satin, and I'm just going to put it all over everything. And I'll do the spine and the back. And I'll let that completely dry. The last thing I'm going to do is add some gold wax and I'm going to use a brush because it has such large open spaces. A lot of times I just use my fingers to apply it, but with this large space I like to pounce it on with a brush. And in about a day the wax will not be tacky anymore, it'll be dry. good. And then we'll apply it to the sides. And this is where I'll just use my finger. Put it on the molds. And I like to add it to the top. And the bottom. And we'll hit all of these. And this just makes the book come to life. I just love the gold wax. Now a lot of times I tie my books closed. Gives it a little finishing touch. Could put a ribbon. Maybe we'll look at some ribbon. 
Ribbon would finish that off nicely if I have the right color. I decided to add a little bit of brown wax. Sometimes I like to add it to the sides of the pages. So I just put a little bit on my brush and then you can always go back and add some gold wax on top of this. You know how sometimes the old books had gold pages on the edges and that looks really pretty. And then I'm going to add a little bit around the edge of the mold. And you can see how a lot of that came off, but it still sits in the edges. If you want, you could always add it to the corners of the back of the book. That looks nice too. Sort of just fading it in. Okay, and then I'll do a little bit around the key mold. And then we are going to do the ribbon. So what I'm going to do is glue it to the inside. I put, put it about two inches in. You could do it in the middle, towards the top, wherever you want. And I just lay it in there, close it, and then do it directly across from it. Do the same thing again. And then I'll put a weight on top. I'll just put some paint or something heavy and let that sit so it will dry and then tie. And then tie the bow so I can cut it. But for these purposes, we'll just finish this up. So you definitely have to let this sit for a while because that glue has to dry. So there you have it. It's a peacock book, decoupage queen rice paper, some molds, a little trim, ribbon, gold pieces, gold wax. So thank you for watching. If you like this, please make sure to subscribe and like and hit the little bell and you'll get notifications when I post another video. Thanks so much. Have a great day.